yet again another IPO open source subscription which goes by the name TBO Tech Limited. In this video, we will discuss the IPO details of TBO Tech, the business model, the industry it operates in, followed by the financials of the company, peer analysis and lastly the valuation. First up, let's understand the business overview of TBO Tech. Started back in 2006, TBO Tech Limited or Travel Boutique Online is India's leading travel distribution platform providing a wide range of offerings and connects buyers and suppliers. By using their unique two-sided platform, suppliers such as hotels, airlines, car rentals, transfers, cruisers, insurance, rail and others can connect with buyers such as travel agencies, independent travel advisors, tour operators, travel management companies, on online travel companies, etc. thereby streamlining the entire process. Additionally, they also provide Forex assistance to its customers. As of December 31st, 2023, the company sold over 7,500 destinations in more than 100 countries with an impressive 41,000 bookings per day through their platform. They boast a headcount of more than 2,000 employees. TBO operates through two distinct revenue models. The first model, known as the B2B rate model, involves marking up inventory from suppliers before offering it to buyers. In contrast, the commission model entails receiving a commission from suppliers based on a sale price to end travelers with a portion of this commission shared with buyers. The table below shows the take rate made of transactions for airlines and hotels and their contribution to the revenue from operations. As you can see, for fiscal year 23, hotels contributed around 67% revenue with a take rate of 7.25% from hotels while airlines derived a take rate of 2.59% and generated about 30% of the revenue. Now let's look at the IPO details. The IPO opens for subscription on 8th and closes on 10th May. It has fixed the upper price band at 920 rupees per share. So for a retail investor, the minimum lot size would be 16 shares translating to a minimum investment of 14,720 rupees. TBO plans to raise 15,550 crores from the public, out of which 74% of the issue would be an offer for sale, which means the existing, existing promoters and shareholders are selling off shares, while the rest of the issue will be a fresh issue, which the company will utilize for its business. The IPO has reserved about 10% for retail investors. So what are the objectives of the issue? The primary reason of the IPO are to raise, fu raise funds towards expanding the supplier and buyer base. Second is towards enhancing the value of the platform by introducing new lines of business. Third is to grow inorganically through strategic and selective acquisitions and building synergies. Lastly is to leverage data procured and offer customized travel solutions to their buyers and sellers. Now talking about the market opportunity, the travel and tourism industry has evolved into a massive ecosystem over the past century catering both to individual travelers and businesses. In 2023, the travel and tourism industry recovered from the challenges of COVID outbreak growing at 18.2% year-on-year from 2022 to $1.9 trillion and is expected to grow at a CAGR of 8.2% to reach $2.6 trillion in 2027. This growth in travel industry is supported by rising pro prosperity in developing economies, increased disposable income among individuals, advances in booking technology, cost-effective travel in budgeted hotels and affordable airlines followed by rising influence by social media platform among young travelers and a better balance between work and leisure that is driving travelers to expand their annual travel plans. All these factors have contributed to the emergence of travel and tourism as a major component of the global economy. Now coming to the financials of TBO, the travel and tourism industry was largely affected by the COVID outbreak. After a dip in sales in fiscal year 21, the company quickly regained and made a strong comeback in fiscal year 23 reaching 1,064 crores in revenue from operations. This was an impressive 120% growth over the previous year's 483 crores. For the nine months ended, it has already witnessed robust revenues of 1,023 crores. As you can see, the company made losses in fiscal year 21 to the tune of 34 crores. However, after the strong recovery, the profits grew and delivered 148 crores in fiscal year 23. For the first nine months ended, it recorded 154 crores, breaking the full fiscal year 23's profitability levels. Even the return ratios with those of EBITDA and return on net worth saw healthy double digit figures for the first months ended as of December 2023. While evaluating a business of this nature, there are some additional key performance indicators which can be used to assess the financial and operating performance. As you can see on the screen, the monthly transacting buyers have consistently grown 
over the entire time frame with recent readings coming in at a total of 26,436 buyers dominated by Indians. GDV which stands for gross transaction value also witnessed 58% contribution from the Indian markets. When looked at the revenue from different product groups, the trend changed from previous years with hotels and ancillary generating a major chunk of revenue recording 741.8 crores which is almost 72% of the total revenue. Another important metric is the take rate which is basically the combination of the markup for hotels and commissions for airlines. Hotels derived a high take rate of 8.1% while airlines got in a commission of 2.63% for the company in the 9 months ended on December 2023. Now coming to the pure comparison and valuation. According to the red hearing prospectus, there are no listed companies in India or abroad that engage in a business similar to that of TBO. However, the following companies have been considered based on certain similarities with certain aspects of the business. When looking at the valuation of the company as compared to its peers, based on the upper price band of 920 rupees per share, the price to earning ratio of TBO Tech is at 65.38 times. To conclude, let's finish off with the strengths and weaknesses. Let's talk about the strengths first. Firstly, one of the strengths is that the unique platform benefits from a network effect. As more and more buyers use the platform, it becomes more attractive to sellers and vice versa. This can lead to increase in transaction volume and revenue. Second is TBO Tech Limited utilizes a modular and scalable technology platform. This allows them to easily add new features, product lines and markets without major disruptions. Next is the company leverages user data to refine its platform, user experience and make data driven decisions such as sales forecasting and marketing strategies. Now let's talk about the weaknesses. A significant portion of TBO Tech's revenue comes from the hotel and ancillary bookings. A downturn in the tourism sector could have impact their businesses. The company relies on a limited number of suppliers for a large share of its business. Issues with these suppliers could disrupt their operations. Lastly, the travel industry is competitive and TBO Tech faces competition from established players in various sectors. Having said that, this is me Ralison signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app Informed Investor to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.